<clears throat> Hi guys, so I've just been thinking about coming out of the closet and the struggles that are associated with coming out and I came out in 2015 like the week of Christmas and I felt like such a burden to my family and it feels like it was so long ago it was what like six years ago five years ago it was so long ago that it almost feels like I have forgotten that people still struggle with this all the time. You know, like when I stream on Twitch and there's people in my chat saying like, asking for advice on coming out and they're like these young kids, they're like teenagers. <clears throat> and I just feel so bad. Um, and I know there's still so many people that struggle with it. For example, I, and I guess this is kind of the inspiration behind this video, is I just read some letters that were sent to my boyfriend's friend's sister who came out as lesbian. And I guess her parents are very Mormon and <clears throat> they found some like letters from her mission and they felt inspired to write her a letter on her birthday basically just talking about how disappointed they are with her and how she'll never be happy as a lesbian and she's making mistakes and she has to seek priesthood help and wear her garments and like the guilt tripping was just insane and it was like come back to us and like all this stuff and I just it really sucks you know like it sucks to hear that stuff from your parents and I can kind of relate, I didn't get letters like that, but when I came out, like, my mom freaked out, and I thought she was going to be the supportive one. And she was like, you're really going to have some guy stick his dick in your ass, and like, all this stuff. And it sucks, and I cried, and it just, it's very emotional, and it just feels horrible to feel like you're letting your family down or your parents in particular, especially if you've had a good relationship with them. And, you know, things are better now, a lot better. Like my mom learned to accept me and my boyfriend and she loves my boyfriend and we hang out with her all the time. Um, but I know it's so hard, especially in the moment and, and during the beginning phases of that process. And, when I came up to my dad, it was different. He was more accepting of it, which I was surprised by. He was like, I can't imagine. He was like sympathetic, you know? He was like, I'm so sorry, but he still wanted me to change. And he was like, what if we can find a way like through the church or like whatever? And I just remember saying like, no, I can't. Like I tried for so long, it's not possible. And I was super Mormon. I did so many Mormon things, like, it's insane. I graduated seminary, I went to EFY for four summers. I was in the presidencies of the church, like, what is that fucking bell? <laughs> and yeah, it was just insane. And it just really sucks when your family is so religious, you know what I mean? So, I guess I mostly just wanted to give some advice for anyone that's struggling and scared of what their family thinks or says. I think it's very important just to love yourself. And one thing I always will live by that I've learned is that you need to do whatever makes you fucking happy. Even if that's letting go of your parents letting go of your siblings, letting go of your friends. If you want to be truly happy and live a life that you love, you have to let go of some people sometimes and you have to do things you don't want to do. I just read this self-help book, which I highly recommend. It's called Good Vibes, Good Life. And it talks about like letting go of toxic family members and stuff like that. And, I know it can be so difficult because you feel like you have to hold on to your family forever because 
especially like your parents, you know, they raised you, they gave birth to you, and it feels like they're supposed to be a part of your life forever, but I don't think that that's necessarily true, you know? Parents have their own fucked up shit, and if they are not adding value to your life and they're keeping you from living a life you want to live, maybe you can have an honest conversation with them and you can work it out. If not, you can let them go, and I think it's okay to do that. When I came out, I remember my mom was freaking out and she was embarrassed and I basically told her that she could say that she only had two kids, which would be my brother and my sister, which were both straight. <laughs> Lucky then. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I was like, you can just say that they're your two kids. You don't even have to mention me. You can delete all the pictures of me. You can just forget about me if you want. That's what I said. And when she realized that I was actually serious about like letting go of her in my life, she freaked out and she apologized and she realized that she didn't want to, you know, let go of her son <laughs> just for being gay. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and so it's really tough and it can be tough on both ends, but it's even harder for the person who is going through it, you know what I mean? <sighs> and that's why I, I love, fuck. And that's why I love hearing stories about parents who, when their kids come out, they just support them, love them, hug them. Like, I didn't really get that, you know? And I feel like a lot of Mormons don't. And it's, it's really tough, especially if your parents' beliefs are never gonna change, you know? And I just feel so bad for that poor girl going through that right now. And I know there's other people going through stuff like that right now. <clears throat> and yeah, I guess that's just my advice. Love yourself no matter what happens. And don't be afraid to let go of people, including your family and your friends. I lost friends. I have family that I'm not close with anymore because I'm gay. It happens and it sucks. I wish the world was different, but... This is the world we're living in, and I'm hoping that we can eventually get to a point where um, nobody really has to come out. You're just born, and you're either gay or straight or <coughs> transgender, and it's not a big deal. Like, who gives a fuck? Let people live how they want to live. It's so ridiculous. I don't know. I just hate the world. And, like, politics and all that shit, like, it's just... It's so upsetting to hear all these stories and people just hating each other and killing each other and I just fear for the world man. I'm excited the day that I die because I don't have to live on this shitty planet. <laughs> That's something to look forward to. <laughs> We're all gonna die anyway, right? But um anyways, I guess that's all I have to say. And I hope that you guys are doing well if you're struggling with coming out or something. I'm so sorry. I know it can suck, and you really, it's unpredictable to know what could happen with your family or your friends or anything like that. I had no idea what to expect, you know. My outcome was different than I expected, and I'm assuming for a lot of people it will be that way, but, you know, it's just crazy. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, that's all. <laughs> Bye, guys.